so you know who you are, that will reflect back into your communities. Read on. It was a spilled beer. As in to why a brother almost lost his life. A spilled beer. We are an astonishment as a people today. Jump back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We're going to let the community know who they are according to the Bible. Mr. Will, I'm not done with you. You got to understand that you are chosen people of God. Right. Our people have to understand that they're the chosen people of God, the Israelites. They have to understand right. that. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Y'all listen up. Black man, black women, if you have ears to hear, listen up. This is what the Most High God, the creator of heaven and earth, say about you. Read on. For thou art in holy people on, unto the Lord thy God. Unto who? Unto the Lord thy God. New slash God does not Love everyone. Hey. Everyone is not special to the Most High God. You are the ones who are quick to uh, pick up the marijuana, put it to your lips and smoke it. To put the crack pipe to your lips and smoke it. To put the needle to your arms and smoke it. The one, the one is one to run up in the, uh, the next man's house and rob him. Run up on him and rob him. God says that you are His holy people. If you turn back to Him, God has chosen you, Mr. Willie. God has chosen you, black man, black woman. Read on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Try to get what? Have chosen thee. Hey, listen up, bro. Hey, bro, with the black head. The brother we were talking, the brother we were talking to is it Day, is it Deshaun? My brother didn't get to bring this out to you. But listen what God says about you and your race. Listen up. For thou art in holy people. He says what? Thou art in holy people. He says what? Thou art in holy people. We have to repeat this over and over and drill this into your heads because years you've been taught that you're murderers, thugs, baby mothers, baby fathers. Been taught that you're African American, black, Nothing. You've been taught this systematically for years, but you've never been taught this before. That you're the greatest thing on the face of this earth, whether you believe it or not. Read on. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Have we what? Have chosen thee. Have they what? Have chosen thee. Come on. To be a special people. To be what? A special people. I want y'all. I want this to ring out as far as it can. God says that you are a what? A special people unto himself. What? Above all. What? Unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear that? Did you hear that? You are not equal to the white man. What? You are not equal to the Chinese man. You are not equal to the Arab man. You are above all people that are upon the face of this earth. And it might not look like it right now. But that goes to show you applying God's law. Psalms 19 and 7. What would it do? What would it do applying God's laws? God said it. He called it a long time ago. You are his chosen people. You are his special people. But look around you. Does this look chosen and special? Right. It doesn't. Look at your reality. Your reality does not reflect what God is saying. So what's wrong? Something is wrong. Is God a liar? God is not a man that he should lie. There is a problem. But look what happens when you apply God's laws. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Mr. Willow, what's wrong with thou shalt not commit adultery? Bring it out. What's wrong with that? All praises to the most high. What's wrong with thou shalt not kill? What's wrong with that? What's flawed with that? You shouldn't cheat. There's nothing wrong with that. I ain't never did none of that stuff. All praises to the Most High. I'm a, all praises to the Most High. But watch this. What's wrong with thou shalt not have another God before me? What's what's wrong? What's broken with that? Nothing's wrong with that. That's right. There's nothing wrong with thou shalt not hate your brother in your heart. There's nothing wrong with keep the Sabbath day holy. There's nothing wrong with God's laws that are they're perfect. And what will they do if you apply them? Read what you got. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. It does what? Converting the soul. Okay, it says converting the soul. Let me ask you, what does it mean to convert something? Change over. To do what? Change over. Oh, our people hate that word change. 
They hate that word change. Unless I'm giving it back to you in smaller bills, they hate that word change. Right. Our people hate the word change. Why? Because guess what they got to do? They have to do. Romans chapter 2. Be not hearers. It's Romans 2 or James. Find that. Be not hearers of the law. Romans 2. See where that at. That's the problem. That's the problem. Our people hate action. Yeah, I knew it was Romans 2. Look for it. I think it's like 11, 12, around 15, around there. 13, 13. 2 and 13, all praises. Our people hate change because they have to change. They have to do something. I don't hate change. All praise. I've been changing all my life. All praise to the most high. We're going to give you more change too as you stick around. Read right. what you got. Right. This is the book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 13. Our communities would be different if we did this. Read what you got. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. Because I can tell you anything. I could, I could be giving you, I am giving you the truth. I'm giving you what the. Out of all the lies we've been taught throughout our nation, I'm giving you the truth. The one that's going to stand before you are here and the truth that's going to last after you're gone, long after you're gone. You're receiving this right now as we speak. Read on. But the doers of the law shall be justified. So God don't care if you heard it. He cares if you do it. And doing will change our reality. Leviticus 19 and 17. Doing God's laws will change our reality. I'm going to show you how. Because earlier, like I said, we had an altercation with two brothers who was about to take each other's lives over spilled beer. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.